in only one hour of a figure painting, what is it you're going to focus the most on? <laughs> Braxis and I'm going to paint for one hour. It's a figure painting off of a photograph. Having limited time for a painting, it's important to uh, focus on the most important key elements wherever you want to direct the viewer's attention. I can always go back to it later and, and refine some areas or add some extra detail or something. So if you were to be doing something like this from a live model and you only have a certain amount of time while the model's going to sit there, this is a great approach. Okay, I'm 15 minutes into this, and what I have is a um, just a generally what I would call like a mapped out um, painting. This is it gives me a sense of where the figure is going to sit, and now I have uh, to really focus on what is uh, the most important um, part of this painting. What is the subject of this painting? Um, Something obviously the the this little white dress is uh, has the strongest contrast, so that's going to capture the most attention. Um, but I can also be thinking about what uh, what appeals to me in it. You know what what do I want to say with this? These are things that even if it is a, a very short painting, you always want to still consider. You want to think about this because this is your art and. You, there is something that uh, will attract you to uh, an image, especially if you're choosing the photograph. But if you're in a situation where you're just painting from a model in a class, I'd still really urge you to look for whatever it is that, that attracts you to that uh, the model. It doesn't need to be you know like a, a physical attraction, but just something that you know just the humanness of the person or the coldness of the person. You know anything that that you may um, what however you respond to looking at that person is what you want to express, and a lot of that will be subconscious. But if you start to bring that to the forefront of um, your thought process while painting, it will it'll be more prominent, and it will uh, I think deepen. The, the value you have in your own art. At this point now in this painting, I'm going to uh, begin doing some refining work. Uh, make sure that a few of the edges and uh, the shape of this uh, of the body in the dress is more pronounced. That the edge uh, around you know from her back to this um, uh, darker area in the, uh, that defines the contour of her back is very clearly defined. I'll definitely bring in some of these darker elements, but you know, around the hair and uh, the dresser that she's um, casting a shadow on, it, a lot of this will be left uh, sloppy and I'll leave that as is because that's now part of the style of this painting. It's a, a very a la prima approach because I think it looks cool. All right. short time, um, I 
really want to go to a smaller brush, but I am forcing myself to stick with this larger brush. This is a 12 Lang nickel. It's not even that large. I mean, it's a pretty small brush still, but I really want to already get into a smaller brush and start picking out some of these details. So uh, know your your tendencies and if you're trying to time yourself or you just don't have as much time force yourself to paint either you know with a lim more limited palette or a larger brush and it will help you um, focus on the most important elements first So now I am halfway through the painting, painting for a half hour. Uh, I have a very clear sense of where this painting uh, is headed. Um, and I've uh, established my the darkest darks, which is very important for adding your depth to a painting. So now at this point in a timed painting, uh, I have a, a good sense of where everything's going I'm, and I'm going to now finally go down to a smaller brush and I will still be very careful to only focus on the most important details. in the last like five uh, minutes or so where I am going to just focus now on the last bit of few details. I already kind of uh, got what I want, uh, the nose right here, some of the hair, but I want to look, look it over and just make sure that the few areas where I really want something to have a more finished, complete look, that they're done to the level of you know my satisfaction and just stepping back from the painting a little bit, looking the whole thing over and making sure that there's nothing that stands out that really bothers me. Um, yeah, so that's what happens at this point.
of painting. Um, picked a fairly easy uh, pose. You know, there wasn't anything very complicated to to uh, deal with. You know, it wasn't um, a portrait or anything like that. The uh, wait, got one drop here moving through my hand. In any case, one hour figure painting. And if you are going to have a very limited time, really uh, definitely look for the easiest pose you can get, one that still entices you enough to create a uh, painting that you like, that you want to see. And if the, if the pose is a little more complicated, like if there is a portrait or, you know, just more features to have to deal with, then just do very rough, not, doesn't have to be rushed, but very rough sketch around uh, certain elements, <clears throat> the elements that you're not that uh, concerned with, and then just focus in on the, um, the part that you do want the most attention to go to. For example, if it was a portrait, you might do a very quick sketch of the face and then just really paint the eyes well or the lips well or something like that. So in any case, I hope this has been helpful to you um, or at least just fun to watch. And if it has, please let me know. And if you like it, subscribe so you can see more. I'm Matt Abraxas. Thanks for watching.